All right, here we have it, the games we've been waiting for. I am Lucia versus MMA in the MLG Columbus 2011 Championship. Now, MMA did knock Lucia down into the lower bracket, the loser's bracket, earlier. But Lucia climbed his way through that and is back for revenge. He has to win two series in a row versus MMA, two best of threes. This is the first set of best of three. And we'll see if Lasira can pull it out, or MMA will represent the Terran race as the only one in, like, the top ten that was actually left as Terran. It was just Zerg and Protoss everywhere. We have Lasira spawning in in the 3 o'clock position here as the blue Zerg. And in the 6 o'clock, or the 9 o'clock, I'm sorry, position, we have MMA spawning in as the red Terran. Should be an exciting game going on here for the championship. We have Lasira scouting hit with his overlord towards the close by air position, of course. He does not see it there, which lets him know, since this is MLG Shadow Temple, that the Pro I'm sorry, the I've been saying Protoss all day. The Terran player is cross positioned from him and not close by air. Because on the MLG maps the close by ground is actually disabled, as well as it has these weird little supply depots to prevent pylon slash barracks shenanigans against the Zerg. And MMA doing everything really standard right now. He actually is on 13 SCVs and hasn't picked up a geyser, a refinery. So he might be fast expanding, actually. Yeah, I think he's fast expanding. So he will be fast expanding to keep up with the Zerg player who's already dropped his hatchery. Putting down extractor and spawning pool here with the next 50 minerals, I'm sure. Moving into position. Nope, that one's scouting. There's the spawning pool back there. MMA getting his wall up. No scouting information, no significant scouting information. Going to be picked up by Lasira over there. And what? No, MMA is just floating a whole bunch of minerals. It looks like he decided not to expand. Maybe he was just finishing up his wall before he decided to expand and getting his orbital up. And yes, that was the case. So I don't look totally ridiculous. Drone is going to move up and see that it's all walled up, which isn't uncommon. It's not going to gain any scouting information. And it tried to go over there to make itself into an extractor, but did not make it. This SUV is scouting, seeing that the pool is a little later, which means he hatched before pool. So two racks would have been some pretty good pressure on this because Lucera did expand first, knowing that it wasn't close by air, which is a little bit, I think it's a little bit shorter rush distance, especially if you like build one of your barracks right here and lift it off and land it there. Definitely closer rush distance. MMA loves to have his supply depots lowered. I don't know what it is. He just doesn't like them raised. It's weird. And it did cost him one game versus the Sierra, the first game actually in their series in the upper bracket before. It might cost him again. MMA has a random SCV parsed in the southern position. I'm not really sure what that's for. Meantime, picking up a factory as well. He is harvesting off two gas. Be interesting to see what type of tech he goes for. Maybe Banshee? I've not seen him go Banshee yet. And he is blocking off the bottom of his ramp. He has a bunker there. Supply depot. So he's going to have a fairly good wall. When the command center comes down, I think he's going to have to land like, I don't know, a barracks there. Or put an engineering bay there, and then he'll have a full wall in. Meantime, this SCV is just randomly moving around at the bottom. Masira is droning up. He is at 26, passing up the Terran player. Though that second orbital command is starting to pump out SCVs. That little supply depot getting taken out there, and another supply depot actually being put in its place. As Lasira sneaks an overlord up there. Which he's going to be able to throw into the base to scout it out here in a minute. And we do have blue flame, so that's the chosen tech path we were waiting to see. And both these factories are just going to pump out blue flame hellions for now. Lasira immediately going to knock down these destructible rocks and make his way to his third. He's probably going to take like a, I don't know, 
sub 8 minute third, which is pretty solid. Roach Warren going down at the bottom of the ramp, and the reason it's positioned here is to prevent Hellions, actually. Did he? Yeah, he saw both those factories, so he knows it's probably Hellions. So that's why he's building the Roach Warren and why he's building it in its location that it is. Bailing Nest being built over here again to funnel. It's harder to get in, less room to maneuver here. If you're going to have to build the buildings, you might as well build them where they provide some type of an advantage for you. Up to, it looks like it's going to be six, maybe even eight blue flame hellions by the time blue flame finishes. Two racks going down. Tech lab on the first racks to pick up, I'm sure, stem. Lasura building his third. And an evo chamber, so again, making it a very narrow area to run through. Banelings being morphed back here, some roaches popping out on the field. And some Hellions driving around, trying to pick off those Zerglings. And Marines are actually almost picking off that Queen. Three Creep Tumors out in front. And I don't think MMA wants this engagement. Oof. Banelings connecting with three Marines there. And the rest of the Marines being picked off by Roaches. They are not really faster than them, I don't think. There are like three... Where's the marine speed at? Oh, come on. I'm going to see before you get into a bunker. 2.25. So yeah, they're not faster off of creep without stem. So they're actually not able to outrun the roaches. So that's why they got left behind and turned into acid goo. They're now, what is this, seven hellions sharking around the map? Meantime, third is being built for MMA. He's going to expand up to that northern position. And he can lift off and just land back there. He doesn't need to clear the rocks. Engineering Bay being built. Oftentimes you'll see mutas at the 10 minute mark. Macro Hatch, of course, this here is standard style, going down at the second. We have Lair just starting up at the 10 minute mark. So no imminent Muta threat, it's actually going to be like 13 minutes before Muta can actually get out on the field. And MMA is driving a siege tank around the back of his base. Oh, that's the only way out, the way these two buildings are built, that's kind of weird. He needs to like rally it right here, I guess it wasn't rallied probably. But if you rally like right here, just like shift, shift, you can make things kind of like go on a parade march around with the shift command and your rally points. see if it does it correctly. Nope, it has to pop out on the other side. That stinks. Not enough space for them to spawn over here as they take two spaces. So these Thors get a nice little mosey around, kind of overlook the SCVs, make sure they're doing their job right. And MMA is so used to Losira, played quite a few games against each other earlier, that he expects Mutas pretty soon, so that's why those Thors are out on the field. And it's just playing safe. This is for the championship. If he can manage to win in this first series of games, he doesn't have to play a second series. But if he loses, he has to play a second one, and that's just nerve-wracking. Not something you want to go into. And it looks like MMA is actually going to take his third at the Destructible Rocks gold position, which Lasira is picking up now for his fourth. Meanwhile, plus two going down on the Bailing Zergling. Spire just now starting for Lysir. There's a lot of Zerglings and Banelings over here. 50 Zerglings and looks like 30 Banelings, no, 20 Banelings. More of them morphing over into Banelings though. Few Roaches, 11. And a lot of Drones. He's at 88 compared to the 66 of MMA. MMA landing his third here, and she know he did not make it an orbital, so he plans on mining this out pretty quickly, I guess, and not really worrying about needing to hold it, as well as throwing 24 banelings at it will kill it anyway, so you might as well make it an orbital, I guess he says. We have a overseer floating around in the main base, trying to scout out what's going on, throwing a corruption down on that factory. What is that called? Contaminate. There we go. There's a C. 
and contaminate down on that factory, preventing it from finishing up that siege tank, which was almost done. And we have the Great Wall going up here for MMA. Looks like he wants to just split the map. Says, yeah, you can uh, take your bases. I'm cool with that. Just let me take mine. And this is a well-recessed siege tank line. It's going to be hard to break that with Banelings and Zerglings, as they're going to take so many shots to get there. And they're going to have to maneuver around these bunkers, kind of closing it in. And great blue flame shots, actually, out of these Hellions on the left-hand side. Banelings rolling up, trying to get in. They do not manage to connect on the left. They do manage to sweep through everything on the right. And Lasir looking like he's in a really good position here. But there are still two siege tanks in the back. And repairing SCVs going out. More Banelings coming in on the left-hand side. Splitting them off, though. He's only sending three in, four in to take out some SCVs. And MMA does look like he's going to hold. A few SCVs going down unnecessarily, kind of parked near some Banelings that were getting sieged on. Meanwhile, Lasira's fourth is up and running. SCVs working furiously to repair. Lasira behind that actually built more drones. He's at 92 drones. Picked up a few more there. It looks like MMA is going to try and scout out, oh, these Hellions fighting for their lives. They go down here as they took out, looks like, quite a few scorched, zergling bodies there on the ground. And these two Marines are wondering why they got tasked with that duty. Yeah, I want you two to just, you know, kind of march all the way across the map and check out if he has, like, a fifth. Can't you just, like, use a scan on that? Uh, I could, but it's way more likely that you will die on the way there and never actually accomplish what you were sent to do. Oh, okay, well, then we'll go. And... <laughs> We have a lot of Banelings out on the field right now. 52 Banelings, 70 Zerglings, and 12 Roaches. And those 12 Roaches are there to just kind of like marshal the Zerglings along. Like, hey, you guys uh, you guys go up to the front. We have practically no HP and have been on the field for like 10 minutes. And looks like a three-angle attack here coming in from La Sierra. And it looks like he might actually break this tank line. A lot of Banelings detonating on the siege tanks. And he is sweeping all the way toward the natural of MMA. And looks like MMA will hold here at the base of his ramp. But his natural, or his third, is under fire. And he does not have a fourth yet. So that's a pretty big economic hindrance on him. Lassir being forced away. And this orbital command actually does die to Zerglings. That was not good. He should have started repairing that. That is a big hit on MMA there. There's a siege tank with 13 health as well. In the meantime, drops going down for MMA. And he's now dropping off these marines. And the medvac is... Oh, there it goes. I was going to say it was not getting focused by those. Looks like he did take out the fourth during that whole chaotic incident of him losing his third. He's putting it back on equal bases. Well, one up for the zerg, but that's pretty standard. Siege tank with 12 HP has been repaired up to 36 HP. Totally good to go out in the field with that. Marines clearing out the middle here, trying to take out as many of the creep tumors as they can, and picking off a lot of drones, actually, as they are long-distance mining to the gold. This is a battle SCV over here. And that SCV is super bold, but he did actually make a Baneling explode on him, so that's probably the best use of an SCV ever. Mutilus out on the field now, patrolling around. And MMA is content with clearing out a ton of that creep spread, actually. So he's going to head back home. Mutilus coming in to pick off the third before it gets back up, actually. And there's a good force of Marines to pick off one, two, two Mutilus. And looks like they're going to get a medvac, though, in return. Nope, not quite. Three, four Mutilus going down. The flock has been thinned to these five. There's one somewhere else. I have no idea where. And no SCV has actually been placed, there we go, back on this uh, command center. And now that it's finished, these SCVs don't have to drive like 30 miles to work anymore. In the meantime, MMA is dropping the rebuilt, well, I guess the fifth, as the fourth rebuilds here at the gold. Swinging out, MMA takes out some overlords out in the middle. 
and this group of marines and the medevac fall to the mutalisks. And I guess the zerglings helped out a little bit too. Big old tank patrol coming through the middle of the map now. We got 10 siege tanks, and a little bit light on the marines actually for that many siege tanks, however. And wow, Lasira backing up from that. I think he should have actually detonated and cleared out all those siege tanks. I think that although it would have been a lot of banelings used on siege tanks, which isn't necessarily efficient, I think it would have done a lot of damage. And MMA swung down with his marines during that while he has this position clamped down in the middle and took out the fifth. The fourth has been finished again for Lasira and it's been rebuilt. And it looks like he's going to sweep around and maybe do a counterattack. Yeah, he's just going to I'm going to go ahead and run around all of you tanks. You guys can move if you want to come defend this, but I'm not going to run into you. Command center lifted over here. And Lasira is going to sideswipe all of these siege tanks. And the Banelings are going to blow up on all of those siege tanks, wiping all of them out. However, there are not really enough left to take out the Marines. And all of these mutilists going back into the Marines. Not good. Losing one or two there and the rest getting dangerously low into the red. In the meantime, there's a medvac just kind of chilling in the air. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she's doing. Smoke break, I guess. Not really. It's a little weird. Fourth has gone up for MMA in the back here. He has one Marauder guarding it. It's totally safe. And there are two Zerglings making the way into the third. And this is kind of a dangerous position. I would not be that far forward with these Marines. A few of them going up, baiting some of the Banelings back. And the greatly diminished siege tank force is down to four siege tanks from its once glorious number of ten. One Marine baiting out a Baneling. And now these Mutalists are going to sweep in, pick off one of the tanks, and then the Banelings are going to clean up the rest, it looks like. And the Marines just being loaded up, about 16 of them being saved from their fiery deaths, or actually, I guess, acidy deaths at the bottom of the, uh, the on the ground down there. Banelings rolling up, and they're going to pick off two Marines. Not too great for five Banelings, but not... Oh, a drop down here at the bottom by MMA that I missed. Looks like it cleared up the third pretty well, which leaves one mining base for Lasira. So MMA is going to swing in here again. Zerglings are attacking the third and the fourth, the two mining bases of MMA. So Lasira returning the drop favor with the Zerglings. And these Marines are just running around with four HP. It's kind of ridiculous, and these medvacs are running a little bit low on energy. Roach is coming in, a bunch of drones being thrown at the marines, which is the last of his drones, really. There are 27 left. GG by I am Lassier. Called, and he leaves the game. He was down to mining just on this one base. This, one, this third is almost totally empty. It's about to run out at any moment. The natural and the main had been mined out, and MMA had dropped the main and taken out the spawning pool, which means no Zergling reinforcements are going to be able to come out on the field. He's going to have to rely on Roaches and morphing Banelings out of the 12 remaining Zerglings he had left. Not a good situation. His counterattacks, the serious counterattacks, were extremely effective, though. He actually cleaned up almost all of the SCVs in the north and at the fourth base, and at the third base, actually. So it was actually equal count of SCVs at the end. It was just uh, Lasira didn't have the position to be able to take out these siege tanks and these remaining marines that are at 3-2, so well upgraded. They just weren't going to die to roaches, which was the only thing he could build left because his roaches are totally unupgraded. So that was game one of the MOG Columbus Championship. Now, if MMA wins the next game, he wins. He's, he's the winner of MLG Columbus, and he takes first place. If he loses and Lucero wins the game after that as well, it goes into another best of three series. So going into the next game, keep that in mind. MMA vs. Lucero, game two for MLG Columbia's championship coming up. Stay tuned. Go ahead and follow me if you're watching me on Justin TV slash Lokazi. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe down below, youtube.com slash Lokazi. And if you're interested in checking out my website, which has all my videos very well organized and pasted up, if I do say so myself, and categorized very well, and you just want to learn a little bit more, 
go ahead and head on over to lokazi.blogspot.com, and I'll see you guys in the next set of games.